Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu people I'm just going to talk about um my Twitter feed what's been happening this week in the world which is related to Islam why not okay so now this is a comment which I made it's like the opposite is happening nowadays women domination of men men and women are both good in their own ways but the modern man could be evolving simply into a sperm bank god hope not who knows and um it seems as though it is becoming the way i mean paul williams tweeted this out a great influencer check him out reverse sexism is perfectly acceptable it seems article in today's times Jake Gyllenhaal says women they're superior to men yeah sure I'm not gonna deny they are superior to men in some ways but in every way no every, women are in general good at certain things they're good at you know uh communication they're good at certain other things I I mean I'm sure they are and and I'm sure we men are good at certain things you know we're more testosterone driven as opposed to uh, w- women who are more thinking, uh, they more they like to read more, um, and uh, you know don't shoot me down for thinking this through. But this is in general, women have their role, men have their role. We can't say one is better than the other; they're both equal in the good at what they do. You can't shoot them down. But the problem is nowadays, it's becoming the opposite. Women are becoming dumb, you know. Women, and it seems to me, in my opinion, dominating men is. It seems like they want their cake and eat it. Uh, they want to be do everything the men do, and they want to do everything they do, uh, which is excellent as well. Uh, so the roles are getting misconstrued, and this is why a lot of the things are happening nowadays. No, yeah, there's this um, LG Zero. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Al Jazeera, they've stated um, a place of clutter, cruelty and barbarism. Former Afghan prisoners recount stories of torture and abuse at US-led Bagram prison known as Afghanistan Guantanamo Bay. Let's listen to what he says because uh, he's been tortured and abused by US-led Bagram prison. I still do believe as though that it does seem like an inside job when it comes to 9-11. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's your point, that's your opinion. But, I mean, let's be honest, look up, you know, what happened to Tower 7 when it came down? Nothing went into the building, nothing happened. And BBC reported it 13 minutes prior that, you know, if, if you go back, if you look... BBC reported that it has fallen down 13 minutes prior before the actual building came down and it came down at free fall it's just the way it clearly seems like an inside job I'm not going to buy it you can go and have a look at you know loose change other uh, videos as well online so I do not um, say that I do not agree that you know what it's an Islam-led uh, incident. But anyway, uh, let me just review this uh, video. Summer. We said we didn't do the crime. They would torture until the prisoners said yes. legs are still weak and in pain. They yanked my private parts with a cable. I was bleeding from it for Ooh. almost six years. Man, that's horrific. They knew we'd be upset if they disrespected the Quran, so they'd throw it in the toilet. I spent almost a year here. It was a scary place. Bagram was a place of utter cruelty and barbarism.
do it. From they uniforms to prison to cells, rights, inmates here have been telling us that. that this was one of the worst places to have been mentally tortured. If they did not behave well, these air conditioners would blow very cold air during the winter and very hot air during the summer. Oh, that's good. Alhamdulillah, they really escaped. So, in a way, the Taliban turned out to be good. Um, in certain respects, freeing the slaves which were tortured by the US. What can you say? Yeah, like I stated, I don't believe that, you know, the whole Afghanistan war and Iraq war against terror is, it's, um, it's definitely uh, from my. It's definitely from from in my opinion. It's a, a deflection against what's really was happening, um, for sure. Oh yeah. I, okay. Here is something. So, uh, Ali Dawa. You know, mashallah, him, he's doing his thing on, um, why is he Ali Dawa 1? Why he couldn't get normal Ali Dawa um, on, um, he's more or less like a celebrity. Why Why can't he get his own um, personal Ali Dawa Twitter uh, account? That that just makes no sense to me. But he, but he said, oh my God, I didn't realize this scum, Harry Sultan, Use the brutal murder of Daniel's sister against him in the debate. What a vile old man, you, you make me sick. And if you go watch that, if you go home, it's worth a watch. I, I'll be honest, any Muslim out there, Hakikatu Jew, um, Daniel Hakikatu, <laughs> he basically demolished uh, apostate prophet and Harris. Uh, when he did his debates, he came <laughs> prepared. But it's not even a case of he came prepared. You can't argue against, uh, you know, logic and reason. And that's the thing. Uh, you could see that in uh, Hakiti and uh, Harris's eyes. He didn't know have any. I <laughs> he didn't have any answers towards it because it was. It, you know, you couldn't. You can't help but agree with what. Hakikatu was saying, but then the only thing he would do, um, Harris would do, was just deflect and go, jihad, slave, slave women, slave, uh, you know, people can have this sex with slaves anytime, you know, rape, torture. But that's completely untrue. That's completely untrue. If you look at the actual, um, in slavery in Islam, it's not like slavery as you're thinking it is, it's more like basically, I mean, I'm not a scholar, but, it, you know, I would advise you to check out Muhammad Hijab's uh, details and um, from EF Dawah as well, uh, Dr. Imran, he did a, a video regarding this. Uh, in general, it's more, the, the way the slavery is kind of um, moved along is like, if you really want to, in for modern day standard, is basically like employer employee type of thing, but um, that's besides the point. I'm not a scholar, by the way, <coughs> but yeah, um, it's definitely not like the slavery. Like you know, you can rape anybody at will or anything like that. It's not disgusting like that. So uh, that's one thing for sure. So, um, but this uh, was actually quite really funny. This meme over here, Hakikatu beating up both <laughs> Apostate Prophet and Harris. And I, you know what? It is absolutely true because this is exactly what happened. Um, Hakikatu was basically defeating Harris in his debate the whole time, when it came to the Q&A, Apostate Prophet hijacked the comment feeds and, que and questioned 
uh, to to Hakikatu, and again, <laughs> Hakikatu basically demolished his arguments uh, so badly. It was just absolutely hilarious, my friend. And Apostate Prophet, I have to say, he's got about 300,000 followers. The majority are Christian, um, because obviously they hate Muslims, a lot of them. And uh, instead of actually... Um, Defending their faith, they want to uh, deflect it back to Muslims where clearly, you know, we all know what the truth is. Islam is the truth, brothers and sisters and everybody out there. But people don't want to look into that with an open heart and mind. That's the, th the problem. But in one respect, uh, Apostate Prophet's actually helping us Muslims because he does such a bad job that it's unbelievably perfect.